AI avatars are becoming so good, you might not even notice that you're looking at one right now. Just kidding. Or am I? Today, we will be comparing the best AI video editors that are currently on the market, and that is Heijen versus Synthesia. If you are not familiar with AI editors, then you're not only missing out, but you're at risk of getting replaced. What you're seeing today about AI editors might be basic. But this technology is moving faster than anyone expected. Companies like Heijen and Synthesia are leading the way and many businesses are using their AI avatars to make product videos, to make content, and also to even get sales with these AI avatars. But the big question is, out of these two, which one is the best one? Well, I'll be comparing the two based on these five criteria. So let's dive straight in, starting off with Heijen. To get started with Heijen, you click on create video, and then you click on avatar video, landscape orientation, and now we are in the timeline editor. Here we can select or avatar that we want to use. So we can switch between all the professional ones and the casual ones. Now for this example, let's do this one. So here we have her in the office and now we can use this avatar. The way it works is you have three different timelines on the timeline editor. So first of all, we have the office font, then we have the AI avatar and then we have our script. So with our script, we can select our voice, we can select the tone of voice, and we can also select what type of voiceover we want. So for this, I'm usually sticking to the voiceover of the AI avatar, because otherwise it might sound a bit weird. Sometimes even the voiceover they've selected sounds weird with their avatars. But overall, it's pretty good. If we want to add in a new scene, then you click on add a scene. And now here appears a new scene. Here you can drag in another avatar. So let's do this person, for example. Then we select them right there. And now we can change the size also. This one doesn't have a background, for example. So you can switch the background color behind him if you want to. And then you have your scene right there. So this is trying to mimic a normal video editor. On Synthesia, it looks as followed. So with Synthesia, you click on new video, then you can select a template, but we're gonna start from blank. Now here we have a blank template with our AI avatar. And here we can see the editor is a little bit different. So instead of having like a timeline that is pretty tightly to move around in, we can go from scene to scene. So we can just do a new scene select what we want to use. So we're gonna click on add scene or you can use any of these templates that they have available. Then you click on add. And now we have our second scene where we can do something different, for example. With Synthesia, you can replace your avatar by any other avatar that you'd like. For example, this person right there. And then you can type in your script right here and then you can select which voice. I would recommend the voiceover that they're using because this sounds the best with the avatar. Besides that, if you want, you can change the space around them. So you can change this, for example, to a coffee shop. And then we have our AI avatar. And honestly, this is very simple to use. Personally, I prefer Synthesia actually to this. I don't think having a timeline editor adds anything in this editor here. I prefer the much simpler look of switching between scenes and kind of having like a slideshow feeling of editing or AI avatar video. Now, I'm curious to know which one has your preference, but to me, this one goes to Synthesia. Next up, we have the amount of AI avatars. Now, this is a important one because if there are not many good AI avatars that you can use, then chances are most people are gonna use the same one. And this is with Heijen and with Heijen, they got a huge library of AI avatars. Just take a look at this. We already have like 119 public AI avatars and these are all the ones that we can use. And even if you click on some of them, so for example, let's click on chat, then we can see we have different type of situations. We even have like side angles on them, which is pretty cool if you want to switch up the scenery. The only downside with this is I wanted to use this one, for example, and I thought I could use this, but for this, you need to upgrade to the team plan. So the most premium plans aren't even available to you if you have to create a plan. Now, honestly, that sucks to me. But apart from that, you have so many different AI avatars available. There are just too many to count them. Even in these settings, which I like a lot. Like, honestly, I think if you're using this, you're, going, you're most likely using up something like this. And these ones aren't premium. 
these are very good for your videos. Now, if we check out all of these AI avatars, we can see there are so many of them in different settings that you can use. Anything from like business-like to someone sitting there and eating their breakfast to people standing behind colorful walls. We have people standing outside. Yeah, there's just so much to it. If we compare it to Synthesia, then we can see there are a lot of different AI afters that we can choose from. We even have AI afters with different camera angles, which is pretty cool. And also if we scroll down, we can see we can do kind of like an interview style right there. And here we even have some expressive avatars and they show expressions such as voice, demeanor, but also like face ex expressions. Honestly, this is quite cool. This is something that Heijen doesn't have. And we have a ton of different options to choose from right here. Now, apart from that, we also have some regular avatars, as you can see down here. They're just adding more and more avatars to the mix. But we don't have as many avatars as Heijen has. So in terms of the amount of AI avatars, I have to give this to Heijen because Heijen has more in different setting avatars than Synthesia does. Let's do a bit of an AI avatar comparison because you can have so many different AI avatars, but if the quality isn't good enough, then yeah, what's the point? So we're gonna compare them based on their lip syncing, their tone of voice, their expression, and also the overall quality. Like. Can you notice that this is an AI avatar or does something irritate you about watching it? Because I have seen so many bad AI avatar videos that this is the first thing that I notice when looking at it. So for this test, I selected three different AI avatars that have kind of like the similar style and I'm going to compare them on three different emotions. So first of all, we have the angry emotion. Now, let's start off with Heijen. I'm so angry right now. Can you not see that from my expressions? Okay, Heijen, it looks decent. He's still smiling even though he's angry. His voice sounds a bit angry. It has good lip syncing though, but I just, overall, I just still feel like it is AI generated. So it looks good, but it still looks like an AI avatar to me. Now, let's go over to Synthesia. I'm so angry right now. Can you not see that from my expression? Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is the voiceover for this. The voice sounds way angrier and, and more real than the one from Heijen. Now, if we take a look at his face expression, let's take a look again. I'm so angry right now. Can you not see that from my expression? If we take a look at his eyebrows, then we can see that he goes from like happy to angry as he expresses his emotion. On this first video, I think Synthesia wins over Heijen. Now let's do another one based on excitement. So let's see if the character can capture that excitement in the video or if it's just sitting there. Starting off with Heijan. I'm so excited to finally be in Dan's video. I simply cannot wait to see what he thinks about me. Okay, it looks a bit static. The voice sounded excited, but the character was not. The character was not happy to be in my video. Uh, let's take a look again. I'm so excited to finally be in Dan's video. I simply cannot wait to see what he thinks about me. Okay, we do have facial expression that she's being excited or happy at least. That's good, but the body language is a bit stiff. Let's take a look at Synthesia. I'm so excited to finally be in Dan's video. I simply cannot wait to see what he thinks about me. Okay, that's good. The tone of voice, I don't know what it is, but I think this, this makes the difference. They put a bit of more emphasis in the voice. They, they include a bit of a pause and then she plays around with the tone in it. That is better in my opinion. I'm so excited to finally be in Dan's video. I simply cannot wait to see what he thinks about me. We even have like a little head shake going on. So this is less stiff. The downside is we don't have this in a similar setting. So yeah, let's compare it to the last one. For the last one, I'm looking for a relaxing, soothing sound while we are in a yoga class. Welcome to my yoga class. Let's relax for a little bit after these stressful times. The setting looks good. The AI after looks really good. She looks, again, a bit stiff again. She, she is in this yoga pose and she doesn't look relaxed at all in my opinion. Welcome to my yoga class. Let's relax for a little bit after these stressful times. We do have a bling going on though, but uh, we don't have any like eyebrows moving up or face expression in that sense. So 
it's good, but it's still, you can still notice it. Welcome to my yoga class. Let's relax for a little bit after these stressful times. Should we even have to breathe out? I think this one is much better. This is the same character as the previous one, but I think this setting, it's pretty good. Let me take a look at it again. Welcome to my yoga class. Let's relax for a little bit after these stressful times. Yeah, the head movements overall while you're talking, they make it look more natural. We even have the background moving behind her. We had that in the previous one as well, but this one, it's a bit more obvious. So this one, I don't think people would notice this is AI. So overall, in terms of quality, I have to give it to Synthesia because the characters and the voice, the voice especially, but also the expression of the characters is way better in my opinion. In terms of lip syncing, I don't see much of a difference, but overall, I think Synthesia has the better quality AI avatars. The next criteria is templates, because I know a lot of businesses and a lot of people will be using these type of templates to generate their videos. Now, having good templates is one thing, but also having the ability to quickly make changes to them is another thing that we are looking out for this. So starting off with HeyGen. For HeyGen, we just go to templates, and then we can see all these different kinds of templates. They have 139 templates, and overall, first opinion on them looks pretty good. So let's actually compare a similar type of templates to each of them. So for this, we're gonna go with a training video. Now let's type in training. Here we have this training video right there. Today we're delving into something incredibly vital, the process and significance. Now you might be wondering why place such emphasis. Firstly, spot it. Now let's put this into perspective using our outline. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's create it. So how easy is it to create our video with this? So here we can change our text. We can change our entire transcript. We can even use ChatGPT to write a script for us. So they have a GPT script writer. Let's say, for example, make a training video about how to talk in front of camera. Okay, so that is pretty fast. You could use this on ChatGPT yourself or you use their script writer. If you like it, you click on apply and close. And now our video is in there. I've added in this script from ChatGPT and right now it's been stuck on waiting for a while now. The other thing I'm noticing is within the script, we have like the intro host. Oh, it finally worked. Yeah, we have this part that we need to delete. So section one, we need to delete that from the script because otherwise our character is going to say that. And overall, it is fairly easy to change everything, but it's, it's hard that you cannot see how it looks because you can only see how it looks after you've clicked on submit and after you've generated your video. If you want to change anything on your video, you can do so right here. So you can move this around. You can change this icon right there. Overall, it works, but it's not the easiest. With Synthesia, it works as follows. So first we click on new video and that brings us over to the template library. So there are so many different templates in this tool. If you just scroll down, then it will load up even more templates and you can select whatever you're looking for. Now I'm looking for a training template. So I'm gonna select one that I think look good. So let's do this one and then we can click on create with AI. So this is their AI video assistant and they will help you with your ID. So if you have a file with a script, for example, then you can import it right there, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna do ID and here I'm gonna do, or ID is a, a training about how to talk in front of the camera. Then we can select the objective. So the objective might be to learn how to speak, to speak and make content. Then we're gonna select the audience. So employees of a startup that want to make content. Then we select the language, keep it English, speaker. We're gonna do someone, a content creator that is 30 years old. And then the tone, we're gonna keep it at friendly. And now we can click on generate video. So now it will generate our entire scene based on our input. Now with that, it creates the videos as well. So it also is creating like what we want to have on that scene. We don't have to do this from the template. We can just now continue this within the editor. And now we have our entire training video done for us. We can just tweak everything. So we can tweak 
for example, the placement of the images, and we can change some things or add some things in there to make it more custom to our own. Overall, I think this one is more easier to edit, but it really depends on how you're using it. So if you want the AI to help you, then this is the better one compared to HeyGen. If you want just to go from a template, I think both are similar in terms of how good it is. Let's compare the monthly pricing of each tool. Starting off with HeyGen, you can get started for free, but yeah, the free plan isn't that great. I would use the premium plan on both of these platforms. So then we have the first plan, which is their creator plan. That lets you create unlimited videos, which is a huge advantage. And you can export videos up to 1080p. You can make three instant avatars with the creator plan and you don't have a watermark. Now the downside on this plan is you don't have access to the premium avatars. For that, you need to get their team plan, which is like 90 bucks a month, which is quite a lot but this gives you videos that are up to 30 minutes long, which is what you need if you want to make long YouTube videos. And also it gives you access to some more features like the premium avatars. Moving on to Synthesia. With Synthesia, you can get started for $0 per month with the free plan, but I would recommend going with the start plan, which is 26 euros a month. And with this, you can generate three personal avatars. You have the editor that three guests also can use and you can also generate 10 minutes of videos a month. And this is the main downside compared to HeyGen because HeyGen has unlimited videos and Synthesia only has 10 minutes of video per month. I'm hoping they will change this, but so far you will have to deal with that. Then moving on to the creator plan, it is similarly priced a little bit cheaper than HeyGen's. It is 79 euros a month and this gives you 30 minutes of video per month, which is better and you get more personal avatars that you can make with that. In conclusion, which is the best AI avatar for you to use? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the best quality and the easiest to use platform, I would go with Synthesia. Synthesia is in my opinion the best platform to use. It's very easy to get around with and also the quality is like it's almost real. If you are looking for unlimited videos, however, then HeyGen might be your best bet because HeyGen doesn't have a limit, which makes it perfect for internal videos. If you want to share it to your colleagues, if you just want to create a quick demo video of a training, then I would use HeyGen. But if you want to use it for, like let's say your content marketing, you want to use it for sharing videos to clients, then I'm definitely gonna use Synthesia for that. I will leave the link to both these tools in the description down below so you can check it out. And if you have any questions about them, leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more AI tools that you can use for your business, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.